Africa. That's the uh, white bike. I think we're just waiting for the start. And they're way in a good start there from uh, Rogan Chandler. Bolts in the front. Dave Sharp went with him. Marcus Reed Bloomfield away third. So uh, good even start there. I see uh, um, the uh, Ducati up there of um, as they head down under the bridge for the first time. Through the up and over, heading down towards the Golden Homes hairpin, and Chandler's just gone. Sharp's going with him, but can't quite hang on to the tail of it. And then I think it was Marcus Reed Bloomfield out of there, then Jordan Burley was the next one. As they file through the Porsche Dipper, heading off down towards the uh, Dale ITM sweeper. And it's Chandler making every post a winning post. He's just pulling it out there, and he's taking Dave Sharp with him. Dave's not quite close enough to him to challenge him, but uh, the both of them are gapping the rest of the field. So as they come up the hill here, who's going to be the next lot through? It's Luke Temple and the Suzuki from Jordan Burley, Matthew Grayson, and uh, Marcus Luke Vonfield dropped down a sixth position. So there we go. So down under the bridge. We go through there and through the up and over. As they file down towards the Golden Homes hairpin. So lead bike, Rogan Chandler's gone. Dave Sharp is, Dave Sharp's closing, actually closing back up on him now. He's uh, has cut that gap back to uh, 0.4 of a second as they uh, went across the stripe last time round, and he's closing ever more on the back of the uh, Suzuki as, the, as we go on. So we're looking for the rest of them now. They're all thundering around through turn 10, the big group of them there. Uh, about nine or ten of them coming through there. Up the hill they come. Here comes our lead bike now. Well, our lead bikes, uh, I should say. Dave Sharp sent the fastest lap of the race so far. And Jordan Burley comes through next. Then Luke Temple. And then Matthew Drayson was the next one through. So let's... So as they head down under the bridge... I'll tell you what, the two lead bikes are absolutely gone. Right, so there they are now. Dave Sharp chasing down uh, Rogan Chandler. And then it would be uh, Jordan Burley second. Then Luke Temple would be the next man through there. Then it's Matthew Drayson, then Craig Coleman, And then Mark Reed Bloomfield on the Augusta would be the next one through. Meanwhile, the gap across the line that time between uh, Chandler and Sharp was 0.1 of a second. So, uh, well, sorry, 0.2 of a second. So uh, Sharp is definitely hanging on to the back of uh, Rogan Chandler. I think up the hill though, the uh, Suzuki got a little bit more grunt than the Kawasaki by the looks of things. Although now having said that, that gap has closed again. So down into turn one, across the line that time, it was 0.3 of a set, 3.7 of a second. So Chandler has opened up a little bit, but not by much. So down into turn two they go, and Dave Sharp closes up under brakes there. Through the uh, up and over they go, heading down towards the Golden Homes hairpin. And uh, Suzuki seems to have a little bit more sure-footed over the top of the hill, opens up a little bit of a gap. Down through the hairpin now, and then up the hill Dave Sharp manages to close the gap up a little bit more, coming up here where they drop down into the Porsche Dipper. And... Uh, Rogan Chandler there got that one totally under control so out of there they come and now we're watching to see the Kawasaki open it up down and heading down the straight there can he close in on the Suzuki let's have a look meanwhile a little further back there you've got uh, Jordan Burley coming under pressure from Matthew Drayson and uh, Craig Coleman but uh, back at the front and out of there and up the hill once again the uh, the Suzuki leads the Kawasaki up the hill but once they get to the top of the hill here, the Kawasaki seems to close that gap down as they go to round turn one. And heads down towards the, uh, the Hampton Downs Bridge. 
across the 600, probably a little bit lighter than the, than the 1000 Kawasaki behind it. Over the top of the hill they go, heading once more down to the Golden Homes hairpin. Let's have a look at Chandler, lead sharp. Sharp's actually put in the fastest lap of the race last time round with a 105.677. So he's quick. So up the hill they come. Once again, down into the Porsche Dipper. And the others are nowhere in sight at this stage. He's just, they're just headed off down there, going into turn 10, as the others are coming out of turn 9. So up they go, uh, sorry, turn 8, as they come down into them. Looks like Burley under a lot of pressure there from uh, Matthew Drayson and Craig Corman, uh, with uh, Bloomfield uh, a little bit further back. So our two lead bikes across the stripe one more time. This time the gap back down at 0.24 of a second. So Sharp really trying everything he possibly can to get on terms with uh, Chandler. And a little bit closer this time as they go into turn two. So this is the last lap. No, sorry, actually that was a check and flag lap. I do apologize. So there we go, I missed that check and flag. So it was uh, Rogan Chandler took it from Dave Sharp with Craig Corman in uh, third position and Matthew Drayson in uh, fourth. Jordan Burley came through in fifth. Then we go back to sixth, which was uh, Marcus Reed Bloomfield. And then Luke Temple in seventh. From eighth was Stephen Leggett and Spencer Langdon ninth. And rounding out top ten was Paul Jenkins. So that was how the race finished. Okay, next up, it will be the juniors.